Hey guys. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to another video of mine. Thank you so much for being here. It means the world, honey. It means the world. <laughs> just got out of bed so don't mind my crazy hair I slept on it wet like a bad person so just ignore it um but yes welcome um it has been a long long time since I have filmed let's see it has probably been seven or eight weeks since I have filmed last um the only reason why I know that is because I filmed um the first day back to college and that was eight weeks ago so here we are two months later Still chugging along, taking it day by day, like I said in my last video, and probably the video before that, and the video before that, and you, you know, just chugging along day by day, just trying to get by until we are done with school, or at least done with the first year. The first year is like the freaking hardest, but yeah. So, I didn't brush my teeth yet. Um, I didn't wash my face yet, so, but yeah, so welcome. Um, I was gonna probably wanna film like something fun, Oh no, I also want to film something fun, but just with everything going on right now, um, mind you, today is March 19th, it's a Thursday, um, I didn't really feel comfortable, like, uploading anything, like, too crazy, um, as you guys know, there's a huge pandemic going on right now, on um, the coronavirus, and it's a lot. Um, very sad and very scary just the fact of how bad it's getting and how much it's spreading and um, you know just everything <laughs> this is crazy so I hope that you guys are taking the correct precautions and washing your hands and using your hand sanitizer and keeping your distance staying home um, or isolated um, it's just a lot it is a lot and it's shutting down a bunch of businesses um, restaurants, like schools, colleges, like it's just a lot. Um, I know that for me, my college has been completely shut down for the rest of the semester and we're doing only online classes. Um, I don't know if that means we're going back to clinicals or not. I don't even think that they know that yet. Um, technically right now we're in our spring break, so I'm not trying to like flood them with emails and like questions because they probably don't even know the answers yet. They're probably trying to enjoy enjoy their spring break even though like no one's ever like had to go through this before so everyone's just kind of like it's like stepping into the world of unknown we don't know what's going on it's a lot it is a lot it's so stressful but i'm not gonna get stressed out yet um my girlfriend kelly was texting me and she was like okay i'm starting to like have anxiety i'm starting to freak out i'm like listen bitch we're in spring break don't text me saying you're about to stress out, you're about to have an anxiety attack. Like, how about we talk about this like next week when we're not on spring break? Like, this is our time to literally relax. And instead of relaxing, we're worrying about school because of everything that's going on. We can worry about that later. Like, let's just enjoy spring break um, for what it is. You know, it might be really, really hard, but we're just gonna try it. So, yeah. So I'm not gonna get too much into class just because it is like, I don't really know what's going on. Um, I mean, we got a big email from one of our instructors saying like everything, but like it's still like super confusing. So we were all in a group chat, all of us, um, all of us students. And we're just like, what's going on? Like, do we have clinicals? Like, when are we doing this? When is this exam? Like, we don't know anything, like nothing at all. And um, so I don't know. There's nothing that I can do about it right now, so I'm not gonna stress about it. I have a hard time freaking over, freaking out over things that I can't control, and that's obviously not healthy because if you can't control it, like don't let it bother you. So I'm trying to not stress out over things that I have no control in. Um, so coming back to spring break, I'm obviously not going anywhere or doing anything crazy. Um, like I said, today's Thursday. My mom and stepdad this weekend are going up to the cabin, so they're gonna be gone. I have nothing going on here. Obviously I would be working, but we're not working anymore because my work has been shut down for two weeks as of right now. Um, and then my school, obviously, like, I have nothing down here um, to do or to be, like people to be with or anything. Like, I've, like my whole life is in New York still. So um, I took the initiative and bought a hotel room um 
around the area where Tyler and my sister like live. And um, I'm just gonna stay there that weekend. I'm not gonna stay at Tyler's house like I always do. I'm not gonna, you know, if I go up tonight, I might go, I might be with my sister, but I don't think I'm gonna go up tonight. I'm just gonna go up tomorrow morning probably. I don't, I don't freaking know. I don't know, yeah, I saw laundry and a whole bunch of shit here to do. But besides that, um, just a lot, it's a lot. Um, so I, there's like, we can't do anything when I go up to New York anyways. Like there's, restaurants are closed. Everything's closed down. Like the movie theater's closed. Like everything's like, shut down. So it's not like I can go out and do anything. So I'm just going to hang out in my hotel room with Ty. He's going to bring his like PS4 and we're going to do um, like Netflix through the TV and whatnot and watch movies or whatever it may be. So I, think about I hope you guys are staying safe and staying healthy. I don't know. I'm going to be locked in my hotel room, like not doing a thing. Um, I booked it last night. I'm just saying Mon or Friday through Sunday. Um, I mean, technically, shit, I could stay, like, another whole week up there. I have nothing going on here. Like, I don't have to be at school. Like, I don't have to work anymore. Like, it's, I mean, even though it sucks, but it's, like, I have nothing down here. Like, I did two of my big projects the last two days, so those are submitted, thank God, because those have been, like, nagging me the whole entire semester. So I got those done out of the way. There's probably, like, a couple more, pro not projects, but more assignments that I could do, but I'll just do that next week because I'm off next week. So, I mean, shit, maybe Tyler and I can film this weekend in the hotel room. That might be fun. I don't know yet. I know, I know my videos do really well when Tyler's in them, so <laughs> I wouldn't mind having another video. We haven't filmed in like forever. I think the last time we filmed was like over summer, I think, or something crazy. I don't remember. And that is my plan for this weekend. Um, like I said, I hope you guys are being safe. And I'm sorry I haven't really been obviously active too much on here just because... It's hard. I'm hoping that over summer and next semester and the semester after that, like my last two semesters will be a lot easier as of I was told it would be. Um, I know like one of the semesters I'm completely off one day and then the other like semester I only have one class or something crazy. I don't really know, but it's going to be a lot less stressful and a lot more free time. So that's going to be exciting just because you are preparing for the board. So I don't know. Trust me guys, I wish I was here filming all the freaking time, building up my YouTube, like trust me. I wish I was, um, it's just a lot. There's a lot going on. Not even with school, just like my home life and just everything, you know, that's going on in my brain, it's, it's a lot. Um, I'm trying to think, I almost passed out at my gynecologist appointment, that was fun. <laughs> like <laughs> literally almost passed out um, since I turned 21. As of last year, I got my first pap smear. Um, that's just like the, not the law, but just how it goes, I guess. Like you don't get paps until you turn 21. So now I'm 21, this is my first appointment back. And so I got a pap smear. I had so much anxiety over it. I was sweating. Like, I was just like telling her like, I, like my breathing was off. Like it was a lot and she's like, oh my, like she's so sweet. She's like, oh my gosh. She's like, you're having a vasovagal reaction. I'm like, uh-huh. Like. Literally about to pass out. And then I passed out over summer while getting my blood drawn. So like, I'm just like freaked out. I'm like, I'm too old. I'm too, I'm too young. I feel like to go to the doctors by myself. Like I need to bring my mom or Tyler or someone to come with me because it's like not good. Um, I'm trying to thank you guys. What else has been going on in my life? I live a very, very boring life. Um, I think when I lived in New York, it was a lot more like upbeat and I had like friends to hang out with and things to do. I was always, you know, enjoying time with Tyler. I was with my, like I was always doing shit and now living here, like I'm literally doing nothing. I don't have any friends down here to like hang out with, especially now. Like it's not like you can do much now anyways because of the coronavirus, but like, it's just like, I don't know. Um, so that's why I'm going up to New York. Granted, I'm going to be staying in a hotel room, but just being able to be with Tyler, be with somebody. Like, I, there's no, the only reason why I live in Pennsylvania is because I'm going to school. Like, let's just get that straight. The only reason why I'm down here is because I live in, or the only reason why I live in Pennsylvania is because I'm going to school down here. If I wasn't going to school down here, I had nothing that's keeping me down here. I wouldn't, I would not, I would have moved here, you know? Um, but yeah, I always think like, what, what, I just, I'm always wondering like, what my life would have been like if I stayed in New York. And that's just like such a crazy, I think moving down here did benefit me 
a lot, a lot, a lot, just because of everything that's going on, like in New York, things that I haven't really addressed on camera, but just a lot of just shit that was going on in New York. So moving down here is probably the best decision I've ever made. And I like to say it's also the worst decision I've ever made just because it put me in such a depressive state um, fall of 2018. So it's been almost two years since I've been down here. But when I first moved down here, I mean, I have a video or two up about the whole thing. So you guys can go watch those. But it was bad. It was very bad. Um, obviously, I'm kind of getting out of that rut. It's been, it was kind of, I was in like a weird rut the last two months. But I'm like finally doing okay with everything. Um, and maybe with classes being online now, I'm gonna be a lot less stressed out. I don't know, it's been like, I don't know what to expect. I have no idea. And I don't think anybody else does either because no one's ever had to do this before. This has never been such like, it's crazy. It is nuts. Um, it feels like I'm living literally in a dream. Like this is like, it's not real life. And it's like so weird to think that, but I don't know. But I think that's it, you guys. I just wanted to hop on here and just update you guys. It's only been like 13 minutes, but I just want to update you guys on like everything that's been going on. Um, not really doing much. I just want to check in with you guys and hope that you guys are safe. And I'm wishing, wishing you guys all well wishes with everything that's going on. Um, and if your school is closed down or, you know, if your work's closed down, which I'm sure most of you guys it is, but we'll get through it. We always do, I feel like, but this is just something a lot bigger and a lot more scarier, but um, it's okay. We can do this. Um, just look at the bright side. Like if you're home in quarantine for the next 14 days, like clean your room, clean your closet, like do everything, like enjoy this time because watch, when we get back into the normal swing of things, we're gonna be like, oh my God, I wish I was home doing nothing when, you know, you are now. So enjoy it as it is. Um, I'm sorry if you guys um or you or any of your family members have been affected by the virus it's definitely very very scary um my mom and i at our clinic well my clinical site and where she works she had one of the cardiologists um get infected and he's not doing well so it's very scary um but yeah i hope you guys are doing well i hope you guys enjoy this video i just honestly like, i just wanted to film like i didn't even know i didn't really have anything like to talk about or anything like planned of what I wanted to touch on. I just want to just check in with you guys and hopefully you guys are doing well. It's, this probably this video is probably all over the place so I apologize for that but I didn't really have anything like set up, lined up, like bulleted that I wanted to talk about. I just word vomited all over y'all. So that is it. Um, Tyler and I may or may not film this weekend. I don't see why we wouldn't um, unless I'm being lazy and like don't want to do anything at all which is highly unlikely. Um, I'm usually always wanting to do something, but I don't know. Yeah, I don't want to like keep you guys waiting for it. But if we do, you guys will know. Um, I'll probably post something on my Instagram. But I'm wanting to edit this video today, like right after I'm done filming. And um, post it for you guys because I'm doing nothing right now. I'm doing nothing. So besides laundry and probably just clean my room and pack my suitcase for the weekend. But that is it. Um, thank you all so much for watching and please make sure to subscribe, like, and leave a comment down below. And if you watched this video and you enjoyed it, please message me. I love when you guys DM me and say like, oh my God, I'm so cute. Oh my God, that made me like laugh so hard. Like I love when you guys, I love when you guys do that. I like Jordan, I'm looking at you sister. You say you watch all of them. So we're going to see if you're watching this part, let me know. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.